Hi, all you music lovers. My name is Andy Rodriguez. Uh, I don't think you can hear me. There we go. Hi there, music lovers. My name is Andy Rodriguez, and welcome to my channel. I'm also known as the Black Spinner, and if you're new to our channel, what um, I do here is I go through my record collection in chronological and in alphabetical order. And today, we are on the letter L. And we are part two of letter L, and today's gonna to consist of one band and one band only. And that is going to be Led Zeppelin. I really enjoy doing these blocks of just one artist. I've done the Beatles, I've done Bob Dylan, I've done Deep Purple, and now it's time to do Led Zeppelin. Now, um, if you're new to our channel, I will go through these out. I will go through my albums, and I will talk about key album tracks on each album. I've been collecting records for over 20 years, and I've accumulated quite a bit. And I like to share them with with y'all, and I hope you that y'all find them as interesting as I do. So let's get started. And what better way to start than with Led Zeppelin One? This is the first album, and as rumor has it, that they had um, um, that they had put um, a burning Zeppelin on there because of um, Keith Moon from the Who, the drummer had said that um, with their with the idea that Led Zeppelin was going to be going with with a hard rock blues sound which doesn't sound that far off but said that they'll crash like a Zeppelin so that's why they have that album cover like that of a Zeppelin blowing up um, the songs on here are just one of the great greatest debut albums in my opinion um, songs on here, Good Times, Bad Times, Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You, which is a great acoustic song. It's just it's just an acoustic song that, that just becomes an all-out rocker. Um, you Shook Me, which is traditional blues of Dazed and Confused, which has so much inventiveness in the guitar by Jimmy Page. Your Time Is Gonna Come, which is one of my favorite songs on here, one of my favorite songs by Led Zeppelin, period. Um... Communication breakdown and how many more times it's fantastic. And there's the back of it. And if you notice in the back, you notice everybody's names on there in black, except for Robert Plant over here. His is in white because they weren't too sure if they're going to keep him as a lead vocal, so they kept his name not as prominent as the other three. Can um can you notice that? You know, everyone else is in black and his is in white. It says Robert Plant lead vocal and, har and harmonica, and everybody else is in bold black except for Robert Plant. Ah. And boy, did they keep them! And boy, that was the best thing that they could have done because I can't picture them with anybody else, to be honest with you. And then comes Zeppelin II. Sometimes I pick this as my favorite Led Zeppelin album. There's the back of it. The inside of it, which is fantastic. Look at that with a blimp up with a blimp not being not in a not being shot down in flames, but up there in golden glory. And the songs on here, sometimes I said that this is like my favorite album um whole lot of love what is and what should never be which i like the end it goes dun -dun, dun -dun. it goes from speaker to speaker to speaker back to speaker it's great and and to note that jimmy page also produced these albums so yeah all these touches are done by the band um the lemon song thank you thank you is a great ballad which my um cousin Carlos when he got married to his wife Claudia um, that was the song that he played at the end of the wedding as um, people were leaving which is a great song and it's great to hear Led Zeppelin at a wedding um, Heartbreaker Living Loving Made I'm talking about side two now um, Ramble On Moby Dick which is a great great um, drum solo from um, John Bonham. I'm not that much into drum solos, but 
Yeah, Moby Dick is a hell of a drum solo. And this ends with Bring It On Home. Man, you know, sometimes sometimes I put this one away and, it, and I don't hear it as often as I should, but when I do put it on, I'm like, man, that's my favorite Led Zeppelin album. But So let's get to Zeppelin 3 because sometimes this was my favorite album for a while. Led Zeppelin 3. It's got the... It's got a little turning card over here, and you can change the pictures of the bands there in the circles. And there's the back of it. Fantastic this time, once again. Robert Plant really sticking out, which he should. There's the inside of it. And the songs on here, like I said, this used to be one of my favorite. This, you know, it comes back and forth. It goes back and forth to what's my favorite Zeppelin album and what's not, and what's number two or top four, top five. The songs on here Immigrant Song, Friends, Celebration Day, Since I've Been Loving You is one of my favorite songs by Led Zeppelin. Since I've Been Loving You. But so is, um, Celebration Day. I love Celebration Day. Um, Gallus Poe is alright. Well, no, it's not alright. It, it, it's a great song. But the next two, Tangerine and That's the Way. Man, those two songs, they're, they're acoustic bass and um, the way that Robert Plant sings both of them. It just, his, his voice just a uh, it's amazing and the way that he pronounces the words and and the feel that he puts behind these lyrics that him and Jimmy Page put down it's just um, fantastic and um, let's not forget about hats off to Roy Harper because that's um kind of a different kind of song for them but yeah Led Zeppelin 3 man it's, it's just great uh, let's go with Zeppelin 4. The next one, the one that everyone, um, not everyone, but majority of people consider this their their best Led Zeppelin album and also their favorites. It's also part of the trinity of Black Sabbath, Paranoid, Deep Purple, Machine Head, and then Led Zeppelin 4. With Led Zeppelin 4 being the leader of it, there's the inside of it. Was that upside down? There, there we go. That is awesome. There are T-shirts and so much stuff by this. And is this still on? And right here is the lyrics to um, "Stairway to Heaven." And this still has the Atlantic label on it. We haven't gotten to the um, Swan Song label yet, but they do have the symbols up there on. Oh, it's upside down. They do have the symbols up there on top in green, of which each symbol stands for a band member. Oh, and you can see it a little bit better up here across. If you can see that. The so-so signs. But not to say that this is this sometimes does not get into my favorite album by them either. A black dog rock and roll. This is what bothers me about that. I don't like the Battle of Evermore. I, I just don't. It, it, it loses me. Um, this um, side one ends with Stairway to Heaven. Now I know people all oh, Stairway to Heaven. They play it all the time. I wish they would play it more. I love that song. Stairway to Heaven is a masterpiece. Who can? I, I, I don't know how people can say, oh, I, oh, I get so tired of, uh, uh, I get so tired of hearing one of the greatest songs of all time. Uh, Misty Mountain Hop, um, Going to California. Oh man, I love that song. I love Going to California. That's a great song. And it ends with, When the levee breaks, I have no place to stay. I'm going to Chicago. Yeah. Led Zeppelin 4. Man. And then the next album is Led Zeppelin 5. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's the end of their numeral albums. And sometimes, yes, this sometimes this was my favorite album for a while because I loved this album and I still do. Houses of the Holy. 
This is a fantastic album. Um, open it up all the way. Right there. And the inside of it. And the songs on here. <clears throat> There's the lyrics. And does this have... Nope, still has the... Atlantic on it but the songs on here are just top notch man I'm telling you the song remains the same it's just a burner man I mean the guitar playing on there it's just fantastic um, the rain song is a beautiful ballad over the hills and far away that is a classic song that is sometimes overlooked how can a classic song be overlooked but over the hills and far away sometimes can be the crunch is can it has a different groove to it than than what you're used to, and um, John Paul Jones really comes out because he wasn't just bass; he was a fantastic keyboard player, fantastic in the um, um on the background sounds and to to bring filler into the sound to make it more um I don't want to say organic but more bombastic. <clears throat> and 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 you know people always talk about drums and bass but this was John Paul Jones and John Bonham doing the 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 um the the back rhythm that's crazy and um that's just side one side two dancing days it's such a good song um dire maker <clears throat> dun, dun, Dire Maker, I got a love-hate relationship with that with that song. <clears throat> it's just okay. But No Quarter is one of my favorite songs by Zeppelin. I mean, just just the story that it tells and then the music, it, it's darker, it's dense. Um, and the ocean. And then from that, and then from the from No Quarter, you go to the ocean which is um, a bright song. <clears throat> and next, we have Led Zeppelin, Festival Graffiti. Again, a lot of people consider this their best album, their masterpiece. This is a double album. And right here on the cover, is the picture of the tenement buildings in in New York City? The tenement buildings were the buildings where a lot of um, immigrants um, lived in. There were a bunch of different apartments. And when we went to New York City the, this last time around with our friends Melody and Jeremy and their daughter Ariana went with us the second time. Uh, we did take a tour of one of these to see how the immigrants that came um, from Europe and different parts of Europe when they came over in the late 1800s, early 1900s, how, how they lived. And um, that's what this uh, resembles um, as well. And in the back, you know, these things, there's these cards can be interchangeable. Let's see, it says physical graffiti there. Or you can have the pictures of the bands or different Hollywood people or different pictures. It's just... It's just crazy of how much this physical graffiti album, not only, I'll get to the music in, in a minute because the packaging is just fantastic all the way around. I choose to not have the pictures of the people, but I like to have the, the, the inside sleeve where it says physical graffiti on it. Okay, now let's get to the songs. Oh, and I've been talking about it all along. This will be the first one with the, uh, if I could pull it out, here we go, with the Swan Song label on it. There's, is that standing up straight? Mr. Swan Song with his wings and their own label. Um, a, a subsidiary of Atlantic. Okay, now let's get to the songs because this is a double album. I've 
like this album quite a bit. Of course. But for me personally, it kind of loses steam for me. But let's go to the songs and see why. Okay. <clears throat> side one and side two. The, the, the first album is just top notch. Custard Pie, The Rover, In My Time of Dying, um, Houses of the Holy, Trampled Underfoot, and Cashmere. There's the in, there's the one of the inside sleeves, <clears throat> and side three in the light. I love in the light. Uh, bon uh, Bon Ayor, um, seaside, down by the seaside, and ten years gone. Ten years gone is fantastic. So is Night Flight. Wow, I guess I do like almost every song on this album. Um, Boogie with Stu is all right, and it's just the last two. Wow, I'm complaining about the last two songs of a double album. Come on, Andy. Like, like for real. I'm complaining about the last two songs on side four of an album. Really? But yeah, this is such a good album. Physical Graffiti. It's hard for me to say it's my favorite because of everything else that came before it. You know, two, three, four, Houses of Holy One. Just they're just fantastic. The next one that I have, Presence. This has a couple lighthearted songs, but that's okay. Cause this only has seven songs and there's four. Four songs that are fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. And let's go through it. There's the inside of it. Swan Song again. And let's go through these songs. The, the You know, Achilles' Last Stand. Just an epic song. I don't know how, how that would... You know what? I'm not going to say anything if this was on that album. That was, no, no. This was on Presence. Those other songs were on Physical Graffiti. And we're talking about Presence and Okay, um, Achilles Last Stand for Your Life, No Foot and Nobody's Fault But Mine, and T for One. These are fantastic songs. The other three, Royal Orleans, Candy Store Rock, and Hots On for Nowhere, are lighthearted songs. They don't, be, in my opinion, they don't belong with the other four epics. But I guess, you know, they, that's the way it is. The presence is overlooked, but it shouldn't because they have those four classic epic songs that need to be respected and have to be heard. Oh, and the inside, there's the inside, uh, just um, people doing different um, activities. And for some reason, I don't know what this little trophy or piece of art is, but it's in every picture I guess I don't know I never really heard or why or looked into it maybe one day I will and I'll share it with you but yeah this is a really good album I liked it presents and next is their last studio album in through the outdoor paper sleeve take it out there's the album cover, kind of a Casablanca kind of album cover. There's the back of it. And then the inside of it was like watercolors. You can color it and it comes out to different colors. Once again, Swan Song label. Songs on here, there's a handful of songs that are all right. Um, in the evening starts off with a monster song. I love in the evening and full in the rain. Love full. I love full in the rain. That's also one of my favorite songs. Um, All my love and I'm gonna crawl are the ones that stick out to me. And if you notice on this album here and on presence, I did not 
read off every single song like I did the first six albums, which tells the power of Led Zeppelin. And they only recorded during the ninth, um, during a 10 year period, which goes back to my theory that most bands, if not all bands, have a 10 year productivity that is very high. I mean, that's just my opinion, but that's the way I see it. If you break them down, why don't y'all try to go through your favorite artists or your favorite bands and do a 10 year period? A stretch of ten years, and you'll see that that there's an out al there's albums and songs that are a ten year period that that stick out to you. And then get back to me on my comments. And last but not least, this was released um, after John Bonham died. John Bonham died of alcohol poisoning, I believe, or something of that sort. Uh, my uncle Rene had gone to go see Led Zeppelin when he was stationed in Germany and um, he went to one of their last, oh no, he was going to go to one of the last concerts but um, it got cancelled because of um, John Bonham got sick because of his drinking and um, but none, but nonetheless um, also on a side note on CD my um, uncle was able to capture it on CD, burn it from YouTube, and gave me a copy of one of the last shows, and it's fantastic. But Coda, Led Zeppelin Coda, this was a um, compilation album of, un of unreleased material. Here's the inside of it. Track listings. Um, produced by Jimmy Page. We're gonna groove. I can't quit you. Bonzo's mantra and wearing and tearing to me is what stick out. I actually like Coda um, a little bit more than In Through the Outdoor. I do. Well, that concludes my Led Zeppelin section. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this special presentation of my my record collection Black Spinner Presents Led Zeppelin. Thank you so much. And, and next I'll be doing the letter M. I don't know. I gotta go through them. I don't know if I'm going to have to divide that into two sections. But thank you for joining me for Led Zeppelin. And please join me when I tackle the letter M's. There's a lot of M's because there's a lot of bands that start with the letter M and artists that start with the letter M. So I hope that you join me for that. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and <clears throat> leave a comment. And thanks a lot for spending this time with me. I really had a good time. And I hope you all did too. Take care of each other. And um, keep rocking. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.